Hey everyone and welcome to Bubli's World Cuisine. Today I'm going to share with you a delicious breakfast recipe. This is egg and potato casserole which makes a healthy start for the day and you can also prepare it for your kids lunchbox or a snack on the go. It's just so yum. It requires only a handful of ingredients and then it's baked in the oven and everyone's breakfast is done in one baking dish. These are all the ingredients that you'll require to make this tasty dish. Just a handful of ingredients, lots of protein and good fats. Let's get started. The key ingredient for this recipe are potato and eggs. I'm preparing my potatoes today. Here I have three large potatoes. All you want to do is peel them and chop. Now, while chopping them, just try to make sure they are all similar size. That way they will cook and bake perfectly. So I'm making small chunks. And if you're taking small potatoes, just make sure you take around six of them. Okay, potato prepare cutting is done. And now I'm taking the starch off it. So I have some cold water here. I'm putting all my potato chunks there. And all you're going to do is wash it once or twice. And that will get rid of all the starch that's present in the potato. After you drain the water, just dab it with a kitchen towel to take off any excess moisture from it. Now it's time to add some seasoning to these potatoes. For that first, I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and just salt. Here I'm using some garlic salt, garlic and uh, salt flakes, but you can go with just regular salt. Give it a good stir so that everything is well coated and now it's time to cook them in a pan. So in a pan I'm taking one tablespoon of olive oil, brushing it all over and then all potatoes goes in. You want to cook them for something around 20 minutes. Just make sure you uh, stir them every now and then so that they are nicely cooked from the inside, have a crispy edge on the outside. So just make sure you don't burn them by stirring them occasionally and mine are done now. Let's set these aside and they are really tasty for having nibbles but I'm not gonna do that today. Uh, let's move it and now it's time to preheat oven to 170 degrees and in a bowl I'm going to crack eggs. You need three eggs for three big potatoes. Sometimes it can vary a little bit. To that, I'm adding some salt. But here you want to make sure you don't add too much because we are going to use some feta cheese, which is already salty. Now goes in some Parmesan cheese. This is already grated. I have mixed it in the eggs. And now it's time to add something additional. I like to add a little bit of dried herbs. You can completely skip that, but it just adds extra flavor. Potatoes have cooled down just slightly and it's ideal to put it in the egg mixture now. All you got to do is give it a good stir so that everything is nicely coated. Potatoes, all the seasoning and eggs are together. This is my baking dish. To that, I'm going to add some parchment paper. And it's really difficult to have them in place. So I like to use these clips. I couldn't find the other big ones. My child plays with them sometimes. So I have the smaller ones. It just makes it so much easier. Now pour in all your egg and potato mixture in the pan. And then using a spoon or a spatula, just try to level it up. This way you can ensure they are all baked perfectly and slices are all nice. Finally, I'm going to add some feta cheese. Again, this is optional or you can use any cheese of your choice. But I find using feta cheese gives it dense taste and I just love it. Now it's going to the oven for 15 minutes and fast forward that my egg and potato bakes are done. Cut them into whichever size you desire and a healthy breakfast or kids lunchbox or snack item is all done. I will post a detailed uh, recipe with measurement in my blog bubliesworldcuisine.com. If you need a printable version, check it out there. And I'll also post it in Instagram. If you follow me there, you, if you make it, just share your pictures with me. I would love that. Thank you everyone for watching and bye.